Hello and welcome to this Dr. Ross Maths key skill video on substitution with negative numbers. Now this is the last of a series of videos on substitution and the only difficulty here is that we have to substitute in negative numbers so we have to be careful about signs and when we're subtracting negative numbers and when we're squaring negative numbers and so on. But we do exactly the same as we did before. We just take each of these values for A and B and just replace each of the letters in this expression with those numbers. So for example, a squared minus 4b, if we replace each of the variables with their respective values, well, the a is replaced with 3, so 3 squared minus, and then 4 times b is minus 5. And don't just write minus 5 here because that looks like a subtraction. It's 4 times minus 5. Now you can write a time symbol here, but I prefer to use brackets. When you put these next to each other, that just means 4 times minus 5. Now let's evaluate each of these. 3 squared is 9, and then minus 4 times minus 5 is minus 20. And then 9 subtract negative 20 is 9 plus 20. Remember, two minus symbols next to each other become a plus, and that then becomes 29. I prefer to try and do it in my head if I can. So I try and work out the a squared, which is 9. Then I put the minus symbol in the middle, and then 4b, well 4 times minus 5 is minus 20, and going straight for that line rather than the line before that, but it's up to you. What about the second one? We want to evaluate x squared plus 2xy, and again we're going to substitute each of these values in. Now we want to do negative 3 squared. Now the problem is, if I write negative 3 squared like this, and you put this in a calculator, what should we get? Well, negative 3 times negative 3, negative times negative is positive, you should get positive 9. But if you write that into a calculator, you actually get minus 9. And the reason is, is because of bidmus. It's trying to do that squared first, so it's doing 3 squared first, which is 9, and then doing negative 9. But that's not what you want. You want minus 3 squared, not minus 3 squared. So we have to put this in brackets. And in general, when you're substituting with negative numbers, always put that negative number in brackets when you substitute it in. And then we've got plus 2 times minus 3 times by y, which is 2. Now let's evaluate each of these. Minus 3 squared, negative times negative is positive, so it's positive 9. And then plus, I always copy the middle symbol in. Now 2 times minus 3 is negative 6, times 2 is minus 12. And then 9 plus negative 12 is the same as 9 minus 12, which is minus 3. 